So I'm here with the Louvre in the background. As far as food is concerned, there's three things that we want to keep in mind. We don't want to spend more than what we would normally spend on food. We're going to focus on good value, point number one. Point number two, we want whatever we're going to eat to be just a short walk away from the attractions that we're going to. We're not going to be eating at the touristic sites, but just a short walk from them. The third thing is we also want to focus on traditional food. So we're not going to go to McDonald's. We're not going to go to anything, you know, that's not traditional. We want to focus on traditional plates. Although, as you will see, now my parents don't always get the most traditional food, <laughs> but we're going to some place that has traditional food. So now we're actually going to head to get something close to L the Louvre. Let's go eat. Ricky, our king. Café Lenemou. Uh, pour moi, Carthage to the beef. Uh-huh. Uh, Pour elle, uh, chicken bowl. Chicken bowl. <laughs> Et café allongé. Café allongé. Uh, Merci. Je veux un café. Café crème à Thank you. Merci. Fuerte. Está bueno. Sí. Me preferí. Yo pensaba que era más grande. Sí, pero es, eh, por eso es café a manger, uh -huh. que es como si fuera un espresso, pero sí. un poco más. No, está bueno. Ya, sí, está bueno. Rico. No, no hay. Profecho. 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 Pero mañana yo voy a tomar el café de la panadería que tú no ¿Cómo se llamaba? Merci, Jérôme. Ajá, ahí está. Está rico, está rico, pero hoy cuando lleguemos voy a pasar a, 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 a comprarme, pero no, me voy a comprar el otro, el que tiene el chat de, de cómo es que oh, se llama. Yeah. Yeah. La mía, yeah. la voy a tener que compartir con ustedes porque yeah. mucha leche. A mí mucha mucho leche. azúcar. Mucho mucho azúcar. <laughs> so we're in Café Lenemo, just outside of the Louvre, so that's obviously close distance, walking yeah. distance, a short walk away from uh, the attraction that we're coming to see. Also, everything is a good price mm -hmm. and traditional person. food. Like, I'm gonna get beef tartare. Thank you, man. Merci. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Merci. Ooh. Of course. It's crudo. It's crudo. It's crudo. Beef tartare is crudo. That's what I said. Yeah. It's crudo. He asked. Uma carne crua, uma torta de carne crua. Está cru en aceite de oliva. I've never had this before, but they eat this a lot here. So, I'm gonna dig it. Yeah. I'm gonna dig it. I'm gonna dig it. I'm gonna dig it. Por lo menos ahí te dio bastante comida. Mira cuánto. Hoy, hoy. Ayer, hoy, ayer te engañé. Hoy vale la pena. Yeah. Hoy vale la pena. Ayer, 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 ayer. Y más barato. Y más barato. Sí. Y ese. Y ese te den un panecito. Es muy crispy, ¿eh? Ese bread. You can hear the, the crispiness. Está bueno. Papi. What do you think of it? You liked it? That one. Was it better than the, the bag that this morning? Yes. Yes. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. Baby, you want to try this? Olha que bom. Muito bonito. Bem colorido. Saboroso. I think the food that Papi has liked the most since we got here, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nozes. Yes, there are. Uh -huh. Tem como nozes. Nozes, quinoa, brócolis, frango. Tudo aqui. 
uma delícia. Hum, um toque doce. Beef tartare. So I don't know what this is on top. If they said it on the menu, I don't remember. I've never had uh, raw beef. Well, we're gonna go in. Look at, look at, look at that. Look at that. Gonna get some of this with some of these scallions and some tomato. And then I can probably get some of this. But I'll try this first just like this. It's it got olive oil, so it tastes a lot of olive oil. It's very interesting because it's kind of like little chunks, so it's not like round. It's like, you know, kind of cute, chunked uh, beef. It has a very interesting texture as you would imagine because it's raw. But, I mean, with olive oil, I'm sure that it, it ends up kind of amassing a little bit differently. But it tastes really good. I can't, I don't, I don't know how to exactly describe it, but it's really good. So you will eat it again? I would eat it again, yeah. That's really good. Delicious. I wonder if they're gherkins. I don't know. Yeah. Apricot. Yes, apricot. That's what it is. <laughs> Across the street, there's a Brasserie Bocuz, the Pop Bocuz, a very famous chef here from Paris. And in fact, that's kind of who they based uh, the chef from uh, Ratatouille. Oh, the one that died? Oh, really? Yeah. Chef Bocuz. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, the Ratatouille. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is his, this is not his big restaurant, but this is a, one of his restaurants. <laughs> What's the <bread? laughs> So, very sad because this was our, our plan was to leave for today to come here specifically for escargot, the gros escargot, the, the big escargot. Unfortunately, they don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> no escargot for you. Se acabó el escargo. And no sprite either. <laughs> no sprite. No so it's okay. We'll adjust. <laughs> Frit maison. Um, the new is very good. This gambas good. Tartar de tuna, tartar good. Mm -hmm. This is from Argentina. Mm -hmm. Lamb chop, green Lamb beans. Chop. I went home with molho de mostarda. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Steak yeah. cheval, what it means is horse steak. Cheval is horse. Você pegou a carne de cavalo? Yeah. Carne de cavalo? Você não me falou se não teria pegado esse. No, you can you can have it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo aprendí un poquito de francés yeah. con Duolingo. Yeah. 
Ça ça. Merci Merci. Ya esos son tus green beans, mi amor. E aí tá o hambúrguer de carne de cavalo. E o meu é algo típico daqui com de cabra. Cordeiro, Go né? cordeiro, de cordeiro, um cordeirinho novinho. Hum, o meu tá bem bonito, bem apresentável. Oh, yeah. E o acompanhamento meu. Let me open this before this. This steak a cheval. Before this egg gets too hard. Look at this, look at this bad boy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now I want you to see this. As I open it up, look at that beautiful sauce coming out. Oh man. You can see that this is freshly ground. Wow. Wow. It's very lightly seasoned. They don't put a lot of salt on it. But you taste like that. The way that it was cooked is nice and crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. That's really good. With my fries, maison frites. Look at their half roti chicken. Decidimos compartir porque pensamos que son es mucha comida. You can see like the sauce on there, like the, the liquid. It's very, it looks very moist, right? No está seco, está bien mojadito, ¿verdad? Now, you gotta try yours. Lamb chops. Lightly salted, huh? Você pode ver o salzão aqui e tá bem crocante, suave, fresquinho, uma delícia, muito bom. Quer provar? Oh, tem algo aqui também. Oh, look at that. Oh. Vou provar estes rotes para ver se são tão bons como os que fazem vinho. E é Ele me falou que era de cavalo Ou se é porque não tem muito sal Aí parece que tá cru Ontem comemos a carne crua E tava mais saborosa do que essa Tava muito mais gostosa Essa daqui de hoje Não recomendo não Tem que ser corajoso E gostar de comida com pouco sal 
Não tá bom. Agora esse aqui tá bem gostoso. And one of the core reasons, we've been talking about three ways that we choose what we're gonna eat. So one is value, so this is good value. Um, like my parents are gonna share the half chicken, 21 euros, right? So good value for what you're getting. Um, traditional food, so we've got very traditional food here, steak a cheval. Wow, that's really good. Nicely seared on the outside and tender on the inside. Uh, lamb chop is a very traditional meal. And then, location so proximity to the um the attractions that we're going to so we just went to the fontaine the saint michel and now we're going to be going to luxembourg garden which you can actually see is right over there so it's a perfect location just a short walk <laughs> you got a cappuccino here at La Fa de San Luis. It's there's they're mainly a creperie, so it's mainly crepes. And so that's why we got this. First, we're starting off with a galette, which is salty or savory. Mas aquele outro café que a gente tinha tomado, qual foi? Foi o... Lá? Aham, uh -huh. Langer. Langer, tava mais saboroso. Uh -huh. Incrivelmente. <laughs> Mas tá gostoso, tá gostoso. Let's try this galette here. So this is guy, I mean this is like really stacked. So we've got like some lettuce here. So it's basically a crepe that's left open in the middle. We've got two different types of cheese. One of them I don't remember which one, the other one's Emmentaler, which is like what we call Swiss cheese. And then we've got the bacon, we've got potatoes, we've got onions. Full. Whew. Look at that melted cheese, my goodness. Now it just made a mess. Okay. And it's got like sour cream maybe? Oh. Man. Okay. I did not think this was going to be so difficult. <laughs> okay. Wow. So the cheese is the star of the show. That is really good. That cheese is delicious. My goodness. And then I got this. What's like? It's got like a vinaigrette on the lettuce. There's bacon on this side, bacon on this side. Delicious. Oh my goodness. So good. But we still have a sweet crepe coming up. We're trying that pretty soon, the Marie Antoinette. Mmm, that's great. Okay. Obrigado. So there's a liqueur here that that's what they put the, the fire on top of to kind of 
burn and caramelize. And so we're gonna try this out. This got this ice cream here. Try some of this. Out. With some of the ice cream, gonna dip it in here. Get some ice cream on here. Go for this bad boy right here. That's really, really good. Maria Antoinette. That's it's 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 sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. It's got a nice balance to it. And with the cold ice cream and the warm uh, sauce there, it's good.